So I'm going to change it up a little bit now, and I'm going to talk a little bit about using a WMS. So, you know, you'll see it, and you've probably seen it for years. Under File, you know, under Attach, you have WMS, and under New, you have WMS. Okay, so, you know, what is it? Well, it's sort of the, it's been around a while. It's sort of the oldest and most popular standard for, you know, web-based uh, raster mapping, um, you know, the properties of the standard itself, you may not have used it a whole lot. Some of you may have used it quite a bit. Um, it can be a little bit, uh, it's not difficult to use, but I'll, I'll just say that sometimes when you want the image to display very, very quickly and you're hitting a WMS server that's out there, um, you know, it may not work exactly the way that you want it to. In other words, MicroStation, the, the idea that MicroStation can display the image and that it works with a WMS is really great, right? We, it's wonderful that we support this. But if you start, if you attach an image and then you zoom out or fit the image or pan in that, uh, it's it could be slow. And that's not really MicroStation's you know, fault. It's the fact that we're serving up a great amount of raster data and we're pushing it across, you know, the, the, the internet basically. So let's say in your local area, you know, here, you know, you do something like, and not so much with the PDF that's here, but if I was to zoom out or I was to zoom in, you know, you can see as I zoomed out, in fact, you noticed it sort of disappeared for a second. Um, that's sort of what happens with the WMS, but it's exponential. It takes quite a bit longer. So it can be a little bit, you know, slow. For most of the WMS servers and things that are out there, um, it's not uncommon for the really quicker ones that are out there. They've got multiple CPUs to get that quick response. Um, but a lot of the data that's out there, especially here in the U.S., it's free to use. And so there's not a revenue stream that goes along with it. So, you know, they're going to put out some decent stuff, but there's no guarantee that that WMS that you hit today and that you use today in your image or excuse me, in your design, may be there tomorrow. Um, you know, sure, the stuff that comes from USGS is going to be there, but there's a lot of other stuff that's out there that it may or may not be out there. So, you know, what does it need to really you do the WMS? Well, on the server end, it needs a, a pretty CPU-intensive uh, system that, that is, you know, served up to, to be able to push these. So that all said, um, you know, what was sort of introduced is a new standard to that, and that is what we'll talk about a little bit later, which is the WMTS that was, you know, kind of created. And there were other standards before this, but let's talk a little bit about WMS next. And, you know, a lot of what we talk about, you're going to be able to apply to the WMTS. Not everything, but as far as attaching it and how it, how it functions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.